Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how you can hide your answers so your students can't click on the answer cell, conditional formatting and see the answer there. To do this, you need a second sheet and all my answers are there. Okay, go back to sheet one, go to the first question. So five times five is 25, change that to indirect. And then you put a bracket, parenthesis, and then you need to put the name of the sheet it's on. And this is simply sheet two. Make a mark, and then you need to put the cell that the answer is in on sheet two, which was dollar sign, it was column B, dollar sign, and it was number, it was um, row two. Parenthesis and bracket and you'll see straight away 25 comes up so for this one so it's indirect bracket parenthesis name of the seat the sheet sheet two exclamation mark and then it is dollar and it's still column b dollar and then this one will be because it's the next one down three. That's this. One more. So indirect bracket. Is this sheet two exclamation mark S and B. S or is this bracket to save you writing it all out all the time you can highlight press control and C so then you go to the next one press control and V together and it's there your formula and you just need to change for this five So press control V. So that's six. You've got to remember which was the last one you've done to make sure you get the right cell. Seven. And the last one. Highlight control B. So this will be eight. So You've done all that, then to stop them just simply going on to sheet two, highlight everything, and this is a really simple way to hide. And just do the type as white, and you can't see it. An added way to hide is, sorry. Highlight the cell, the column, sorry, hide, highlight that, hide, and then you can also hide the sheet. So if your students were to go and find the sheet two, they'd have to go on to this bit and then unhide columns A and B and then figure out to change the text to black to see it. I think they're probably at the point where they could make their own. I hope that was useful.